we're speaking with Todd Tentland, the product application specialist for Caterpillar, and we're discussing the 988 XE wheel loader, brand new debuting here for uh, for Caterpillar today. Todd, you know, Todd, one of the, the obviously the unique aspect of this machine is the electric drivetrain, uh, first the first for machine of this type. How long was that in planning, and what? Um, Explain a little bit about how the technology works. Yeah, absolutely. It's my pleasure. So the 988K XE development actually started in 2013 in iron. And we actually took a standard 988 that we had in field follow and we reworked it to an XE. So we had in iron testing starting about four years ago. And since then, we've built pilots for field follow. We've done extent, extensive testing in the field. Uh, we have four units in North America. and We have one in Europe as well. So that's the summation of the in-iron testing. But prior to that, we also did extensive validation virtually, and we evaluated the different options when looking at new technologies for the powertrain. We determined that the electric drive was the best path doing a transmission replacement on this particular platform. If you go back to D7E, which is an electric drive track dozer and large mining trucks, our experience in electric drive actually goes back 15 years at Caterpillar. What are some of the benefits of the drivetrain for your customers? Yeah, so the big benefit is efficiency. So the number one deliverable is reduced consumption of fuel, gallon per hour, with no loss in productivity. When I say that, that's specific to truck loading. Same production as a mechanical, but overall we saw 25% better efficiency, up to 49 in tough dig. We did gain some productivity though too in load and carry, because the powertrain system actually delivers faster acceleration for the customer. In terms of the uh, powertrain, tell me a little bit about the powertrain and the engine. Yeah, absolutely. So in this particular case, what we did is we took the torque converter and the mechanical transmission, which was power shift, ECPC, electronic clutch pressure control, we took those components out. And we still have a C18 under the hood, but we're actually driving a generator with that C18. It sends voltage out to an inverter. The inverter does a conversion and sends it down to an electric motor. The motor then turns a mechanical drop box, drive line and axles that we have today on the standard machine. So effectively the powertrain of the electric drive is a transmission replacement, generator, inverter, and motor. And that powers the mechanical drive line and axle. And then uh, finally, Todd, obviously a technology everybody you know, with electrification and things going forward. Is this a technology you see maybe going forward on in future Caterpillar machines? It's certainly a candidate. We're always evaluating options to reduce costs on our machines. And when I say that, cost per ton to the customer. This technology is scalable. When I say that, I mean from 88 and up. So it's certainly something Caterpillar is going to evaluate. 